Hello dear students, welcome back at your own channel Maths Mela where we are here to discuss the academic part of Mathematics Grade 10. Today, the topic which we are going to discuss that is chapter number 10, Circles. Right? But before starting with the topic, the chapter 10, Circles, I would like to share a thought with you. The thought of the day is, the only true wisdom is in knowing that you know nothing. That is said by the great Sukra. Now, what the thought mean? The thought means that whatever we are knowing, that is nothing for us. We should understand or we should consider that we don't know anything. And since we don't know anything, so we need to try to find out what we should be knowing means what we should be always trying to learn something new. Okay, so this was the thought. Once more, I want to repeat the thought, and the thought is the only true wisdom is in knowing that you know nothing. It is said by the great Sutra. So, surely I feel that you will be applying this thought in your daily routine life. So now let's come back on the academic part that is chapter number 10 circles. Today we are going to discuss the introduction part of chapter number 10 circles. Actually circles we are doing from grade uh, 4. The, in grade 4 the term circle was introduced to you when you were in the primary sections. After that in every year you have seen some modification, some more adaptation in the chapter syllabus. Then you might have seen the parts of circles, then somewhat diagram how to draw, then in the construction also you might have seen, okay. Then in this class also uh, the circle you will be dealing in three different chapters, okay. The one already we have covered that is chapter number 12, areas related to circles. In chapter number 10 we are again going to discuss circle and the same part will be applicable in chapter number 11 that is what the construction is okay so let's go ahead with the term circle and the introduction part of the chapter number 10 the first thing which is what the diagram you can see which is right now uh, blank after discussing we will be filling it and what i want is the same diagram should be there on the first page of your notebook whenever you will start this topic so the chapter 10 circles the first thing which we are going to discuss the name of the topic itself that is what circle so what is circle circle is a collection of all the points which are situated at a constant distance from a fixed point that fixed point is known as the center of the circle right if we will talk about this circle so here somewhere the point will come this point and all the points which are located at the same distance at a constant distance right the path will be known as circle the fixed point will be known as center and the constant distance is of course named as radius okay now in this topic what we are going to learn it is about the circle and a line which will be intersecting to a circle okay now there are what three different cases what are the three different cases might be the first circle like this this is what the line be okay the second circle like this and this is what the line be and the third circle and this is what the line Okay, here it is intersecting at only one point, say A. Right? Now what are the differences in these three circles? In the first thing, the circle and the line are not meeting each other, not intersecting each other. The line P is not intersecting to a circle. So, there is no common point. Then, if you will see the second diagram, according to this diagram, the line P is intersecting the circle and meeting the circle at two different points that is point A and point B of the circle 
so at that time this line p is known as second what it is second okay so what is second second is a line which intersect or which cut or which meet the circle at two different point okay so in this way every chord the line segment right so in this way every line segment which intersect the circle at two different point is known as the second okay that will be what called second but in this chapter which we are going to mainly focus that is what the line tangent now what is the line tangent tangent means what whenever any line intersect the circle at only one point where at only one point then that line becomes the tangent of the circle what it becomes it becomes tangent okay the difference between tangent and second is what the tangent is what it cuts the circle at only one point second cuts the circle at two different point and here the line and the circle don't have any common point no intersection is there okay so this is what the mainly difference between tangent and second tangent means only one point only one point intersection here second means what it intersect the circle at two different point now if we will talk about the tangent the chapter 10 circle totally depends or totally revolves around this term that is what tangent and it's very simple term whenever any line intersect a circle at one and only one point then that line segment is known as tangent now talking about the next point how many tangents can a circle have don't be in hurry there are what three different cases okay if we will talk about again three different diagrams so i would like to draw suppose this one then this one and then this one right three different circle in first case if we will talk that is where the point is what lying inside here the point is exactly on the circle and here the point is what outside okay maybe suppose the point is p here also it is p and here also p now we'll see that in how many tangent a circle can have it depends on the three different situation the case one where the point is lying inside then if you will draw a line suppose right like this but if you increase it it will go beyond this and what you see you can see that if you will draw any line from the point p which is lying inside the circle that time that won't be a tangent because two times it is intersecting the circle so it becomes what second now if we will talk about a point which is on the circle so if we will draw a line like this now you can see that the common point between the line and the circle is only one that is what point p so in this case here whenever a point is on the circle that time that point will have only one tangent to the circle now the third and the last case where the point is outside of the circle that time if you will draw then you will see that there are two different points there are what two different lines you can draw Okay, here also the circle is what like this. So if here it is here. Okay. So this is what the third case where the point is what lying outside of the circle. So in this case, if the point is what outside, then it will have at most only two tangents. So there are what three different cases because most of the time the question is asked that how many tangents a circle have. It depends on the position of the point. If the point is inside the circle, at that time there is no tangent. If the point is on the circle, then there is what one and only one tangent. If the point is what outside of the circle, at that time there are only two tangents.
tangents means the third important point is what number of tangent to a circle how many cases three different cases point is inside no tangent point is on the circle only one tangent point is outside of the circle then there are what at most two tangent okay this covers the half of the topic and the remaining half is what it is nothing but some properties of tangent okay now which properties of tangent that we are going to study now okay now if we will see this diagram okay suppose this is what point c that is what the center right here a point a is known as point of contact point b is also known as point of contact and what is the tangent pa okay means the length from p to a is a tangent the length from p to b is a tangent okay and if you will see that if you will join this one that is what center and the point of contact then you will find that it is always a perpendicular similarly if you will join this you will find that it is always a perpendicular okay so what is property this property can be learned in the way of theorem also it comes for proof also we'll be seeing it in our forthcoming or in next videos okay now the thing is what what we are going to learn today the tangent okay the tangent is always perpendicular on the point of contact of the radius okay so this is also called as tangent radius relation that is what tangent is always perpendicular to radius okay this is what the radius is perpendicular to tangent and the tangent is also perpendicular to radius one and the same thing this is what the property number 1 now what is property number 2 if you will observe the diagram that is length of tangent pa and the length of tangent pb since these two tangents are from only one point that is point p and if there are two tangent from one point p then the length of both the tangents are always equal that is what pa tangent 1 is equal to pb okay and the third one if you will observe pa is a tangent pb is a tangent c is a center p is a point which is outside of the circle from that point the tangents are drawn if you will observe p a c b again if you will observe p a c b what you are going to get you are going to get a quadrilateral okay you are going to get a quadrilateral now what is special about this quadrilateral as we know that p a is perpendicular to c a p b is perpendicular to c b these two are what perpendicular so both the angles are what 90 degree and 90 degree as we know that pacb is a quadrilateral so the angle sum property of this quadrilateral or of any quadrilateral is what addition of all the four angles is equal to 360 but here we know that this is also 90 this is also 90 so 90 plus 90 is what 180 what is remaining now 360 minus 180 which means the addition of angle p and angle c is again what 180 so this is what the third important property that is angle p plus angle c is equal to 180 degree okay so this is all about your chapter that is chapter number 10 circles okay in this there are only two exercise that is exercise number 10.1 which is what very simple and easy only fill ups are there that only we have to complete then second thing is what exercise number 7.2 exercise number 7. sorry exercise number 10.1 covers 1 2 3 and 4 topics 
okay circle second tangent and number of tangents to a circle then exercise number 10.2 that is what it depends on the properties of the tangent where what are the properties the tangent and the radius are what perpendicular to each other property number 2 the length of the tangents from one point are always equal property number 3 is what the central angle and the inclined angle the sum of these two angles is equal to always 180 degree so this is what the introduction part of chapter number 10 circles what i wish is this diagram you should draw on the first page whenever you will start the chapter number 10 circle so a quick recap one more time what is your chapter number 10 circle it consists of just two exercise 10.1 and 10.2 in that what is circle circle is a collection of all the points which are situated at a constant distance that is what radius from a fixed point that is what a center of the circle so there are three different cases whenever a line does not intersect with the circle so there is no common part point if a line intersect a circle at a two different point then that line is known as second it means second intersect twice to a circle at a two different point the third point is what a line whenever it will intersect at only one point then that point is known as the tangent of the circle okay now next is what <clears throat> number of tangent to a circle it depends on three different cases when the point is internal that is inside the circle at that time there is no tangent if the point is on the circle then only one tangent if the point is outside of the circle then from that point at most only two tangents can be drawn to a circle this diagram you need to Fit, fix it in your memory, okay? Because everything depends on this diagram only. After this, there are three properties of the tangent and the circles. The first one is what the <coughs> tangent and the radius. Both are what perpendicular to each other. So the angle BAC and angle BBC are always 90 degree. Then second thing is what the length of tangent from one point are always what equal. That is. PA is equal to PB, right? And AC and BC are what the red are, so they will be also equal. But what AC and AB may or may not be equal, okay? But AC and BC two red are always equal. PA PB two tangent always equal. And then the third point that is what the central angle and the angle at P. If you will add these two angles, you will be always getting one hundred and eighty degree. So exercise number ten point one, which is totally depends on these concepts, I am giving you as your homework. So this is what the end of the introduction part. Very soon with the next video, we'll again meet at your own channel, Maths Mela, where we'll be solving exercise number ten point two. Okay, till that time, be happy, be at home, be safe, and exercises needed. Thanks a lot.